everybody, Derek here, and in this video we're going to be going over how to add items to the file system tab in Linux. If you don't know what that means, it's uh, it's understandable. The FS tab, or as some people call it, the FSTAB file, is uh, something that not a lot of users interact with, but it's actually very useful. So to start off, open up a terminal. I have mine open here, and you're going to need to do an LSBLK. Now what that will do is it will show you all of your drives on the system. So in this case, I'm going to do, I'm going to mount SDD1 and I'm going to set it in my FS tab system. Uh, so that when I reboot my system, it'll show up no matter what. So to start off, I'm going to need to make a directory. Now I want my SDD1 file to be mounted directly to my home folder. I don't want it in the mount directory. And this is just because I only want my user to have access to it. I don't, I don't want anybody else in the system to have access to it. So I'm going to do make dir, and then I will do the name of the folder, which I'm going to do just test drive. You can name it whatever you'd like, but this is what I'm going to be calling it. And now if I go in my file manager, I know that the test drive folder is right here. So from here, what I need to do is I need to open up nano and open up fstab. So as you can see, I've already got a lot of stuff in fstab already. I've got my home root partition and everything is right there. I've got the swap file that I use and I've got my boot file. So to add a new item, I'm going to first do a comment, and this is going to be sdd in home dev sdd1 followed by the file area, which in my case is home Derek, and then test drive. I need to specify that I'm using an external or extended for file system. I need to specify defaults. And after that, I need to do zero and then three. And the reason this is, is because this is two and this is one. That's all I need to do. And after that, I can press control O, save. And then as you can see, nothing is mounted here. If we do it again, uh, it still won't be mounted. And that's because it's in the file system tab. But because we've changed it, we can do a correct mount. So observe. So when we do dev sdd1, notice how I didn't have to type out and specify exactly where it went. If at any time you want to disable your fs tab stuff, all you need to do is do sudo you mount dev sdd1 or whatever your drive is going to be called, you know, and this example is just that. And then just do sudo nano etsy fs tab go right up here and then delete the FS tab, do control O, and then you can do the mount again and uh, it won't work. That's the end of the video. This is how to mount files in FS tab. So that's the end of the video. That's how to get stuff mounted correctly with FS tab, how to add stuff to it. and. Uh, it's, it might come off as a little complicated, but once you understand it, it makes it so that you can move your hard drives and your partitions and everything around in the exact place you need them to be.